in our bathroom, we have this shaver socket. Its rating is 20 watt. This can be used as an isolation transformer if you can make sure your load is less than 20 watts. So I just use uh, this uh, adapter, two leg, two, three prong, and then I plug in extension, so like this. So we have this uh, adapter plugged in, and we have this uh, extension uh, plug plugged in, and then make not handing an arrange like this, and then I have this uh, extension and i can use this extension to the room where i do my repair so this is a uh, one way to use isolation transformer uh, just make sure you are not going to overload the shaver socket because you may damage the transformer inside another alternative to an isolation transformer is this power inverter and it transforms the 12 watt car battery to 240 watts. So this particular one, I bought it from Argos many years ago, so rated uh, 350 watts. So make sure the device being repaired is not more than 350 watts at any time. So to use this, this side is the input 12 watt car battery and this side is just a normal UK plug and we have a switch to switch it on and off so we can connect this to a car battery we have a car battery over here so we can connect this power inverter onto this car battery so we can uh, this is the positive and we have the negative here and positive over here and then we can switch this on so you can see this is a uh, working so and then we can use a uh, extension and plug into the power inverter and we can have the uh, device being repaired plug into this uh, extension so this is my second isolation transformer to decide the power consumption of uh, your device being repaired you can use a energy meter like this i bought it from a bnq many years ago with this you can see the wattage you can see the current and you can see the power consumption so you can plug it in to the main power and to know uh, the actual power consumption of your device being repaired before you use the power in water or the shiver socket to do your repairments. So with this power meter and you can see the time and this is a function you can change it to display the voltage you can change it to display the current you can display the power consumption in watts so that's you can use this to measure how much uh, energy actually your device is consuming uh, so at the moment i connect it to just uh, a desk lamp so it's a uh, seven watts and now i plug in my vcr to this uh, power meter so you can see the power consumption for this vcr is 12 watts so in this case when i repair this vcr i could plug it in to the shaver socket as the isolation transformer to do the troubleshooting to use oscilloscope or uh, similar equipment